Okay, okay. Hopefully, I'm the right way round now. I am the right way round, yeah? Yeah, on this. Yeah. Cool. However, we're now back on my phone, which um, Facebook keeps crashing on. So if I disappear, I'm really sorry. Okay, we will try and uh, <laughs> try try over the weekend to work out. So we found Drew's phone, which was working really well with Facebook, but it won't flip. And this one keeps overheating and crashing on Facebook. So God knows what's happening. Um, who's coming online? Anybody there? Helen's the first to comment. Hi, oh. Helen. Am I back in. the right way round now? Hi, I'm not not like that anymore. Yeah, she says right way. <laughs> Excellent, cool. Oh, tech, the tech this week has been an absolute nightmare. Really has been a nightmare. So, um, so yeah. So I'm in a really good news, and I get to share some. It's, I'm excited. You lot might not be excited, but well, some of you will be. Um, my big boy's home. My big boy's home, which is nice. He's off on holiday to West Wales next week, so he's popped in today, and he's brought baby pictures to show me. I'm going to be a granny, girls. I'm so excited. I'm so so excited it's our first first grandbaby and uh yeah really really thrilled for them so uh so yeah i saw the pictures today and a little video as well really really thrilled for that so um so yeah so it's all good so everything's right with my world even though my eyes are a bit dodgy and really itchy and really playing up and i'm a bit i was a bit grumpy yesterday because i wasn't feeling very well um but it's all it's all good it's all good news so um so yeah um, how are you all? Everybody okay? Everyone all right? Um, I'm going to whip through some new products for you because, like I said, my phone might crash, all right? If it does crash, we will try and get the other one to. In fact, actually, while I'm talking and showing them stuff, Drew's going to... Uh, Drew, Alex, because we've got Alex today. Alex is going to play around and see if he can get the other phone to, to do properly, okay? So there won't be any zooming in. thought I'd show you a few quick products um, that have come in. We've just had these for you crocheters out there. We've just had these in from Serdar. We've only got two, um, but they are all of the happy cottons, all 50 colours, okay, in a box. And I've got two of them. Um, they are, now if you bought all of them, I think, I can't remember how much it is now, but these are 45 99 okay? And you've got all 50. We will throw in, if you buy one of them, okay, and I've only got two, we'll throw in one of the little um, crochet books as well, all right? So I've got two to sell. They're 45 99 okay? They have, ah, there you go. I think he's worked it out. So if we do, if they, my phone does crash, we've got the other phone working, all right? You can see you've got all 25 colours that side, and then, go a bit slower when you um, tilt left, because it makes people feel, people feel a bit seasick, so sort of go slow in general. And then we've got the other 25 that side. So you've got one in every colour in there, okay? Two of them. Sale. And then we've had some new Christmas panels in as well. So I thought I'd just very quickly show you these. I'm gonna, I might have to stand up for this, mind. So I've got this one, which is a really lovely traditional. I don't know if you can... Ooh, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully Al, uh, Drew... Uh, Alex! It's Alex filming, not Drew. <laughs> hopefully Alex can get that in. Yep. Okay. So these are all going to be going on the website this week, uh, this weekend, okay? We've got, I'm going to stay stood because I've got more to show you. Um, we've got a beautiful double stocking panel. So you can make two stockings and you can see, let me just, if I just lie this out a minute so that Alex can get up close. It's really pretty traditional stockings. They are really, really lovely. So we've got those going on as well okay there we go and there's also a advent as well so you could do like a whole thing all on the same theme so there's a really beautiful advent panel which looks like that so yes it's beautiful i really like it it's like traditional but without being you know sometimes traditional christmas stuff is they're like the faces are a little bit old fashioned and you know not my cup of tea i really like that it's kind of traditional colors and traditional themed but but nice a nice twist on it so those are all going on the website and what else we've we got to tell you daily deal daily deal is so these are already this panel and all the coordinated fabrics are already on the website um they are in the clearance section so i put those in the other day excuse me i've got a hair caught under my glasses and this one is beautiful it's um a ruby star um panel i don't know if you can alex can get really close on this whether you can reach and get close most beautiful butterflies with like a metallic 
geometric on it. It's it's unfortunately it's sideways because I had to try and hang it up. But it's really, really lovely. And these were £12.50 and I'm going to do them for £6. They're going to be half price, okay? They'll go on to the Daily Deal section on the website. Um, so I've put anything we've talked about on the Daily Deals, I've put into sale and clearance and there's a whole section called Daily Deal so you can find them nice and easily. So those will be going on later as well. So before we start, any questions or comments? How is everybody? No questions, but a lot of congratulations. I know. I'm so excited, ladies. So excited. <laughs> there's going to be lots of knitting. There's going to be lots of quilting. My son's over there looking at me all strange. <laughs> but yeah, really, really just, yeah, couldn't be more thrilled. It's, uh, yeah, it's lush. Yeah, going to make lots of baby quilts, lots of knitting. I get to knit teeny tiny little baby jackets. Yeah, very excited for it all. So uh, thank you. Thanks for the congratulations. There. They're going to make amazing parents. They really are. So, uh, and to top it all off, it's our fifth birthday as well. We had the keys for the shop five years ago today, which doesn't seem like five years ago. That has flown by. It really has. <laughs> yeah, really doesn't seem like five years. So, uh, yeah, that's all exciting too. So, yeah. So, we've got Sean announced. Um, she put some stuff on social yesterday. Um, because it's because it's sort of a five year thing we, we're going to do a couple of sales so next week if you come into the shop it's 20% off everything in the shop okay so um, yeah anything at all we just take 20% straight off at the end that's even all the brand new stuff everything's got 20% off in the shop if you're a website user if you can't get to us there'll be a lit there'll be a deal for you the following week okay <laughs> so it's not just not just shop people It'll, there'll be a website deal the following week okay so um so yeah lots of news today lots and lots of news right we've also got lots of sewing to do lots of sewing so we are going to make some of these okay so this is they call them fabric closet safe wardrobe safes okay now i haven't done the hand sewing around the neck okay i started to make one didn't like the pattern as ever with me you know what i'm like didn't like the pattern tweaked it tweaked it tweaked it um, and then I suddenly was like, oh, I need to make a final version, having a chance to do the little bit of hand sewing, okay? It's got a pocket here, so you've obviously just got a hanger in it. You've got a, a front pocket, which is all internalised like that, okay? Like that. And then you've also got a pocket at the bottom as well, so a bottom pocket here, which is how you get the hanger in. It's all lined, but you could also stash stuff in there as well. The whole idea of this is when you go on holiday, Sometimes they don't have a hotel safe, so sometimes you don't want to use the hotel safe. You could pop your passport and your some of your valuables in there. You know, I mean, obviously you're not going to take your tiaras, are you? But, you know, you know, general bits and pieces you don't want to leave lying about, you know. And you can hang it in the wardrobe in amongst your, your clothes and things. You could even maybe hang a t-shirt or something over it. And it's completely hidden. It's completely hidden. It's all, you know, it would all be like disguised in, in amongst your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be for holiday you know it might be that you know you just want to keep things away from prying eyes you know when we've got kids that get in drawers and stuff you don't want them to put stuff in here stick them in your wardrobe it's all out of the way okay so this is what we're going to make today any questions or comments before we get started um, no nobody there nobody really? having a chat no. people here yeah they are here good 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 Right, I've made a pattern. I will draw this out properly, scan it in for you, okay? And you'll be able to get that on the website. Um, I changed it about four times. And I was just like, no, nope, don't like that, don't like that, don't like that. I've got half bits everywhere. So um, this is, was of my eventual pattern piece. I will redraw this and scan it in so that you guys can, can get that on the website. You need, um, using that pattern, so I literally folded my fabric in half, okay, like that. I put my pattern piece over the top like that, cut it out. Okay, you need two in your outer fabric and you need two in your inner fabric. Okay, your lining fabric. Your outer fabric needs to be interfaced. So I interfaced it before I cut it out. It's so much easier. Okay, so you want two and two. You will need two zips. Okay. Um, they end up being 14 inches long. If um, 
if you've got longer zips you can just sew across the edge and cut off okay but I've got two zips one of them I've already done this because there's lots of bits I want to show you so I've sort of done all the little tiny bits ready you want to put some little zipper tabs on so all I've done is taken two little squares of fabric I think they were two inch by one inch lightened them right sides together with the zip and just sewed across the, the top there and then cut off the excess zip okay so I've got a zipper tab both ends sewn across there cut it off all right so you need one zip that's got zipper tabs on and you need another zip which hasn't got zipper tabs on okay and then you need a pocket piece and the pocket piece is 11 and a half by 17 okay and this is going to make the internal front pocket you're right love yeah was the gimbal just not play, playing ball then yeah i figured out you can't rotate it while you're moving it no <laughs> you have to put it down yeah. alex is still getting used to uh, drew's toy okay and you want to interface that pocket piece as well all right so i've done all the cutting out prior because i want to show you guys um how to do this all right let me just get rid of these papers out of the way so first thing we want to do is we want to take one of these front pieces like this okay and I need a ruler and a pen. I've tidied up a bit and now I've tidied everything away that I need. Ruler and a pen. Okay, like this. And we're going to measure, we're going to fold it in half to find the centre. Like that. Okay. And then you want to measure six inches up from the bottom. Now don't worry, I've, I used a little bit of salvage so I could get it in but that's going to disappear into my seam allowance, that white. So I'm going to measure up six inches. So from the bottom, like that, to make a little mark on that centre line. And then we, it wants to be, you want to draw a line that's 14 inches long, with obviously seven, which is half of 14, right in the centre. So we're going to go seven inches. Let me just make sure that's nice and straight. Seven inches that way like that and then seven inches that way again make sure that's nice and straight there we go like that okay just got a line there that's that's helped to help us line up the zipper later and then on the pocket piece okay on the back so again you can see i frankenstein my interface and it really doesn't matter all right again i'm going to find the center like this and I'm going to draw this on the back on the interfacing of this one. So this was on the front. This I'm doing on the back of the pocket piece. I'm going to measure down, <coughs> get the ruler the right way around, an inch and a half. So just there. Okay. And again, I want to draw a 14 inch line. So again, center it up. So I'm going seven inches that way. And seven inches that way. Are you all with me so far, ladies? Anybody having a chat there? What they, what's everyone chattering about? Anything? Um, nothing really. Not much has come in. No? Okay. So, I then want to draw an, two more parallel lines to this. Okay? So, I'm going to go half an inch... Sorry, quarter inch, sorry. Quarter inch down, all the way down. Like this. Okay. Quarter inch down. And then again. So quarter inch, so I've got three parallel lines, which are 14 inches, centred on the pocket, like that, okay? Join up the ends, hopefully your guys are getting this, join up the ends, like that, okay? And then I want to measure down about half an inch, like that, from the centre line, and we're going to just draw some little Vs. Can you get that out, like that? So I've got... 14 inch line, quarter inch apart, 14 inch line, quarter inch apart, 14 inch line. I've measured down half an inch there and then just done a little V. And I'm going to do exactly the same the other side. Okay, so I'm going to measure down half an inch like that and then just join up there and there. Okay. That's your bit of prep work before we put the zip in. Okay. So next thing you want to do is grab some pins. You want to line the top edge. Now, let me see if I can do this towards you guys. Hang on, let's see if I can do this towards you. So, this is now facing you. So, I'm going to find the corner, this top corner here. <coughs> Excuse me. Corner here. And I'm going to find 
that point there so the end of the line on the front piece and put a pin through and again this side so find the corner there like that got it yeah and then again the end of the line there and pop a pin through okay so that now is right sides together so I've got the right side of the line in facing the right side of the main fabric and those those top lines are now parallel we're going to go over <coughs> sorry excuse me I've got tickled today <coughs> I had a piece of toast earlier and it caught in my throat and I haven't stopped uh, it's like irritating my throat so we're now going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch all the way round the outside of those lines ignore this center bit we're just going to stitch all the way round that through both pieces so I'm going to put it over here and stitch away so talk to me guys what's everyone saying any comments questions or anything there while I do this bit of stitching what are you all up to what's everyone saying Al mm. any hellos anybody saying you know happy birthday <laughs> Wendy just turned in hi Wendy I wonder whether you're not getting all the comments on the uh, Facebook I feel like I'm not okay hang on two seconds let's just go on to this one and see if he can see some of the comments let's see okay um if we go into pages manager on here and is your little iron working now no Sandra came in new one different one picked it from the shop <laughs> yeah there's been 37 comments son so I'll turn that down for most of those beginning ones uh, there we go so maybe hang on sorry ladies let's just get this going for you there you go yes I've got a slidey chair I have courtesy of Linda she was uh, she had a spare one so I got a slidey chair and it's so much better <laughs> so much easier I should have got one 120 uh, sessions ago <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I don't know if you're getting anything now, uh, whether they're just not coming through on my phone or whether you're getting the same sort of ones. Maybe we need to put my laptop up as well. I think Facebook is having a really funny week. We've been, you know, we've not had any real issues with tech and this week has just been strange, really has. Okay, so all I've done is stitched all the way around the outside of that rectangle that we've um, we've sewn. Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, let me grab my seam ripper and we're going back to the mat, all the way back over here. Okay, so what we want to do now is open it up on that middle line. Okay, so I'm going to insert my seam ripper in like that. And be brave you could do this with little scissors I suppose if you wanted to and go down to the points where we drew the V okay so be a bit brave or if you don't want to use the seam ripper like I said little tiny embroidery scissors work just fine but if you go slow and steady like that okay and I've now cut through all the fabric I am now going to use scissors and you want to cut down those diagonal lines be careful not to cut your stitches in the corner okay just go really careful and cut down into there like that okay hopefully you can see that and then I'm going to do the same the other side so I'm just going to cut down into those there so again into that corner and into that corner like that okay we are now going to push the pocket piece all the way through that gap. So we're going to turn it all the way through like this. Push it all the way through like that. Oh, flip it out <laughs> like this. Okay. Pull it all through and it all looks a bit messy at the moment, but we're going to get the iron on it in a second. Okay, roll that seam. Okay, to get it to lie nice and flat so roll it between your fingers and roll this one as well there we go roll that one 
like this all the way around give that a little bit of a tug and a press give that a bit of a tug and a press and then we're gonna um, iron this press this really well okay well, while I'm pressing any comments anybody saying anything at all there um, the pen you're using is it here is it all it is it's one of the fricks on pens love yeah um, I would use something or water soluble something that is you know um, what's the word you can easily get rid of just in case you don't line up exactly okay so there we go and that side and then this side like this and give it a really good press okay like that all the way down let's get that nice and flat and square on the edges there we go okay so we've now got this little envelope like that okay which is all lined in nice and nice and neat we need our other zip not the one that had the tabs on it we need the untabbed one all right we're going to sit the zip behind this so that it peeps through okay are we getting comments up on either now or not love yeah but sort of it's buffering i don't know if that's us or just this phone all oh, right okay i think it might just be this phone okay so let's say if not we can get my laptop we can do that but it's, if, you, if we're getting some comments up on mine let's just just yeah. do that for now okay you want to it doesn't matter that it's longer because we're going to be chopping it off okay so you want to line this up now if i wasn't doing the one o'clock okay actually i don't know if you can come in close here al a second can you see where those little metal stoppers are there for your zip all right you want to make sure that they are just in the envelope okay so that you're stitching here and you don't hit that metal when you're stitching all right does can you does that make sense can you see that can you see those tiny little metal stoppers there okay we're going to be stitching here all right so i would hand baste this in or use um that basting tape or a glue pen or something normally we haven't got time for that so i am going to pin it and i'm going to wing it okay so but I would absolutely take the time just to hand base this in. It makes will make your life so much easier. Obviously, we've got time constraints with the video. I'm not going to um, on the video. I would normally, though. I did on the other one. It took me like three or four minutes just to do a big running stitch all the way around. It's worth it. It will make your life easier. There is, um, you can buy like basting tape, zipper basting tape, which is basically double-sided tape, but it's safer fabric. Okay. You all right, love? What's going on? You're looking a bit strange. Me? Yeah. No. Nope. Any comments there? Anybody having a chat? Anybody say anything? Oh, come on. Just grab that sip. Uh, I think that's Maria. That's how you say that. Maria? Yeah. Uh, sewing through, uh, she said she's sewing through all her fabrics, trying to work out the di uh, difference between scrap and bigger bits. Ah. Uh, so, I always think if I can get more than a two and a half inch square out of it, it's not technically scrap <laughs> it could be used for a project so that's not as flat as I would like it because like I said I would normally hand baste it but time we're going to just go for it I'm now going to top stitch all the way round there all right so I'm going to top stitch about 16th of an inch from the edge top stitch all the way around to hold that zip in place okay I'm just going to put one more pin in there just to hold that one there okay and back we go so talk to me ladies, Have a, what, are you all, what are you all up to? Talk to me while I'm uh, busy putting this zip in. Oh, zipper foot would help, wouldn't it? It would help if I put my zipper foot on. So put your zipper foot on for this, You'll make, it will make your life easier, I promise. Okay, it means you can get like nice and close and neat. Here we go. So any questions there, group? Uh, I'll keep calling you Drew, I'm sorry. I do know which one of my sons you are, I promise. Mm -hmm. No other questions have come in yet. No, no comments at all. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe that we've been open for five years. I think that's crazy, absolutely crazy. It's like, where's that time gone? Where has the time gone? So I'm just stitching all the way round. Basically that envelope, okay? Just nice and close to the edge. Just top stitching all the way round. 
and you can see I've come in I'm coming down here like this all right taking it slow and steady and like I said I'm winging this a little bit because I haven't basted it so I am winging it a bit weeny bit which please do take the time to baste it if uh, if you're making one of these all right okay when I get to the end I want to just make sure that that zipper pull is just a weeny bit out of the way all right like that now I'm not going to be able to get past that zipper pull so leave your needle down I don't, many of you will know this, many of you might not. If you lift your foot extra high, it lifts it double height, which means you can get the zipper past it, okay? So I'm just going to turn it towards me, like that. And it means I can, it, because it lifts it extra high, you can get your zipper foot past it. It's a lot, lot easier to do. Oh, what have you done? Don't do that. Okay, so I've just done that just so I can get past the zipper foot. To get round this corner. Oh. Didn't put my foot down. There we go. Round, round the corner to the end like that. Turn it. Now on the end, I would absolutely suggest to go in backwards and forwards a couple of times. Okay. So I'm going to go across like that. Okay, and back again. Just back over the same line, just a couple of times just to really anchor that zip in and then we're going to come down this side and this is where I really wish I'd had time to baste it but we'll be fine <laughs> hmm. there we go this side like that I'm coming up to the zipper foot again so I'm going to stop and just pull that past like that just to hold it all in place Ooh, come on back you come there we go so, any talk to me, guys. What's going on? Anything? What are you up to? What are you up to this weekend? Anybody chatting there, Al? Nothing's coming. Oh, I don't know if you're talking or not, ladies. We don't seem to get any comments. Um, Ross, can I have my laptop off the table, please? Can you put it by Al, just there? And let's see if we can get some comments, because I'm sure... I'm sure you're not all completely ignoring me. You don't normally, unless I've annoyed you somehow. <laughs> okay. Just going round the zip. Okay, and I'm just about to go over the zip. So again, the other side, I'm just going to go down this way. I don't know why the tech this week has been so bad. It really has. It's been horrendous. There we go. Nearly there. All the way round. A little bit tedious this bit, but we are there. A little bit wonky, but it's fine. <laughs> the other one was much neater because I basted it. Okay, and... All right, okay, do you want me to get in, love? Uh, well, you, you know how to get in, don't yeah. you? Yeah. If you just go to Facebook, turn the sound off. Go to Do you want to just turn the camera to me so I can talk to the ladies? Because they're talking to a empty uh so empty missing. space at the minute <laughs> so we've sewn all the way round okay my zip is in i before i cut anything off i would just double check that it opens and closes all right which it now does like that all right we can trim off this excess piece here because we've sewn backwards and forwards the zip won't come undone so we're going to trim off that excess piece there we go like that just get rid of that bit okay Next thing you want to do now, so Al, I just need you to, you all right? Yep. Just a second. So we are going to just create the pocket on the back because at the minute it's just a flap of fabric. So we want to bring the bo bottom edge up here right the way up to the top like that. Okay, so this is the pocket piece on the back and we're going to stitch all the way across the top and down both sides. Okay, so I would just pop a couple of pins in just to hold it all in place. We've still got quite a lot to do, actually. We're going to have to get a bit of a wiggle on because uh, I'm aware that um, it's already half past one. Okay. So, right the way across, down the sides. Over we're going to go. Over we go quickly. I've left the zipper foot on for now. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that my outside fabric is out of the way and we're just going to very quickly whip round. And while I do this, Alex is going to play around with the... Uh, the laptop and see if we can see if anybody's actually talking to us yeah we've got a couple yeah Can't. 
coming in now. Just tuning in, what are you making? We're making a uh, fabric closet safe, wardrobe safe. So I'll show you in a moment the, the, the finished one. Um, it's basically something to hang up in your, your wardrobe with a secret zippered pocket. You can put a t-shirt or something over the top of it, you use a, a clothes hanger. You can put a t-shirt or something over the top of it. And um, you can hide your valuables, hide all your bits and pieces. Brilliant if you're going on holiday, you can put like keep your passport and stuff on there. So I'm just making sure that my outside fabric is out of the way. And then we're gonna go all the way around that pocket. Here we go. A couple of people are looking forward to Sarah Jane's course tomorrow. Ah, lovely. Yeah, some of you are on um says she's doing a, a quilt class tomorrow, all squared up. Um yeah, she's gonna be um yeah, there's a few of you on that, which is fab. So lovely. Right, okay, so now I've made the pocket. We're gonna go back this way out. Okay, like that. We've now got a zip in the front and an in enclosed internal pocket. Okay, right. I'm gonna put the bottom zip in now. So this is the one with the tabs. Lots of zipper work today, I'm afraid, ladies. <laughs> Lots of zipper work. I don't know if it's easier to put the laptop in that corner, yeah. Al. I think he's managed to get comments on my laptop. So we can uh, hopefully, <laughs> I can hopefully talk to you. Right, okay, so just gave that a very quick press. Again, I'm gonna try and do this towards you. So you've got your zipper pocket like that and you've got your zip with your zipper tabs on. You want to put this face down okay along the edge bottom edge like that okay you're then going to put one of your lining pieces now you would put it I've used a solid so it's quite difficult to know which right which way round it is because there isn't really a right and wrong side to it but you'd put it right sides down okay so the wrong side was up all right so we do this along like this and then we're just gonna again pop a couple of pins in just to ooh, don't knock the iron over. It's probably I broke the last one. <laughs> I'm gonna pop a couple of pins in just to keep it in place. So I've got all I've got the zipper face down on the right side of the fab uh, right side of the um what's the word? Main fabric. Don't <laughs> uh, and then my lining fabric face down on top of it. Okay, I'm just gonna put a couple of pins in just to hold it all in place like that okay anybody chattering away anybody there uh, uh, stick another one in this side there we go is it not working on my laptop uh no it's, it's getting the same ones oh okay we don't know what's going on if you are chattering ladies i'm really sorry if i'm not replying i do i will go back through the comments and answer anything afterwards so i'm going to stitch down there okay and you want to kind of feel with your fingers so hopefully you can see this so if i kind of feel with my nails i can feel where the zip is like this okay um and it means that i can you want to stitch as close as you can to that zip all right so i'm going to go back over to the sewing machine so al if you can just follow me over don't worry about it love don't worry just just forget about the laptop so ladies i'm really sorry if you we we don't see your comments but he's um we are trying but it's just not happening <laughs> so i'm getting the odd one or two through so i'm kind of feeling with my fingers where the the zip is and stitching as close as you can to that zip okay now i can feel now here that the zip pull is here so i want to stop again just like we did last time okay move that iron out of your way love so I can feel that that's where the zip pull is. I'm not going to be able to get past that with the zipper foot. So I'm going to open it up like this. I don't know if Al's going to be able to get in there. And just close that zipper up like that now so I can get past it. Because I should now be able to go all the way down. There we go. All the way down. Like this. Right to the end. Cut my fabrics and then we're going to 
we're going to do the other side of the zip. Okay. Are you getting comments on either one? Uh, yeah, the occasional. Al, you've got to follow me, hun. You've got to, you've got to keep an eye on what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> if I move, you've got to come with me. <laughs> so, when we open this up and fold it all back like this. Now, oh, don't worry about the comments. Yeah. You need to be, keep an eye on what I'm doing, honey. All right. Yeah. If they're not coming up on the phone, are they? Can you see any on that phone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just keep an eye on what I'm doing because otherwise the ladies can't see. All right. So, stitched all the way down there like that. When I open it all out and push it back, like this, there's my zip in like that. Okay. That's one side. We're now going to repeat that for the other side. So, got front piece so basically just ignore all this bit all right pretend it's not there for now okay we're gonna put that one let me try and do it towards you again we're gonna put this face up so that's my outside fabric face up the zip is gonna go face down like this and line it back up again so the zips face down and the other lining piece is gonna go face down again Okay, like that and then again pin it in out of the way so it's all lined up okay just shout if anybody does say hello or comments all right because um, it's uh and then hopefully over the weekend we will try and work out what on earth is going on with our Facebook <laughs> hmm. We might have to change to like YouTube lives, lives or something if this carries on. There we go. There we go. So, again, I'm going to stitch all the way down, feeling for that zip on the other side this time, okay? I'm going to whip over and do that bit, because otherwise we're never going to get this finished. <laughs> so, feel for that zip, and down we go. Okay, take my pins out as we go. There's the zip there. And I do use my fingers a lot on this just to kind of test where the zip is so that I'm not stitching over it. Okay, I can kind of run my nail down it and think, right, yeah, that's where it is. All the way down. Okay, we're actually not far from being, being done, actually. So I'm going to open that zip up again because I'm coming towards it. So it's very difficult to show you this bit. Okay, let's see if I can... So I'm just finding the zip in there and I want to, there we go. <laughs> so I found the zip in there, okay, and I'm going to just push it past the foot, okay. I can't do it, I need, I need a third hand if, uh, if I hold the fabric up. But I'm just going to push the zip past like that, there we go. I can feel it's gone past now, which means I can get past that zipper pull. And all the way down. Then we're nearly there. Okay. Right, so my zip is now in. So I've got a lining piece like that and a lining piece like that and the zip now is in the bottom like this, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to do the top stitching, okay? You would top stitch this. You would go right the way down that and top stitch that, okay? It's, um, I, I haven't got time. I'm a bit concerned about my phone overheating again and facebook crashing so how's it feeling mm, it's a bit hot yeah not, not too bad today not overly hot okay but you would top stitch all the way down to keep that fabric away from the zip okay so you've now put two zips in this is the one on the bottom next little thing you want to do is you want to grab your external pieces like that and put together and flip out and so your lining pieces are together and we would are going to stitch all the way round okay but not quite all the way round you don't want to stitch these curves so we're going to come all the way up here to here and then leave this bit to here okay and then stitch all the way down there keep going keep going all the way round to here don't stitch this bit and start here all the way around but then you want to leave a gap in the side like that okay so we're going to leave a gap here and you've left your openings free all right we will quickly do that all right so normal foot back on edge of foot doesn't need to be quarter of an inch or anything just normal edge normal edge of foot on this okay 
and we're going to whip round this whole thing nice and quick. Are there any comments there, love? Anybody saying anything? Or is it just nothing at all today? Claudia says, I'm enjoying the session I found at the site a few days ago while looking for information on the Manx quilting. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh yeah, Manx quilting was something we did a little while ago. I love Manx quilting, actually. It's one of my favourite. I'm not a massive hand sewer, but if I, I, and I, but I do do a little bit of, um, bit of it now and then, but I do really enjoy Manx quilting. I love how fast it grows. It's one of my favourite things because it, it grows so fast. <laughs> so, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Anybody else there? Thanks for joining us as well. That's really nice of you to find us. Sandra says she has a good week off. Uh, are you doing anything nice? Um, I am. Um, I'm off Tuesday. From this, I'm, I'll be back on Monday. Um, but I, w <laughs> I nearly really made a really bad mistake. Make sure you open your bottom zip. Otherwise, when you've stitched all the way round, you can't do anything about it. Make sure you open that bottom zip, all right? <laughs> I suddenly thought, that doesn't feel right. Oops. <laughs> so open, open up the zip. Um, what am I doing? Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm organising my uh, sewing studio uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. There's got, there has got to be some housework done. But at the weekend, we're going down to Cornwall. We're going down to Newquay to white acres the big ones drew and josh aren't they're going to be home because they're working uh but me and phil and alex and tom and my mum we're going down to just for a long weekend down to cornwall go and see the sea you know that sort of thing lots of catching up on stuff to be honest i've got so much catching up of things that uh that's basically what i'm going to be doing <laughs> And maybe a little bit of sleeping. I might have a lie-in one, like a proper lie-in. I do need to sleep a little bit. I think that's why my eyes are bad at the moment. I'm a little bit run down. So all the way around this side. So it's just a long, boring bit of sewing. Make sure that you don't catch your pocket as well. Okay, make sure that's tucked out of the way when you're doing this long seam. Right, so I'm coming down this side. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Nearly there and then I'm going to stop where I marked for my gap okay just back stitch okay right then so I uh, just re go over that so I haven't sewn the curved bits here okay that's where the hanger's going to go in a minute and I've left a gap in my lining and I made sure my zip was open <laughs> Right, you are now going to put your hand in the gap and we're going to pull it all through. Okay, pull it all through that gap. So, anybody else there having, a, having any comments at all? Are we getting like one in 20 or something? <laughs> Pushing Probably by the through. looks of it. Pardon? Probably by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else there? Who's going to come and see us next week? I'm off and says, got, says we've got massive sale in the shop, so says going to be busy. <laughs> busy, busy. <laughs> Who's going to come to the shop next week? Take advantage of that 20%. Okay, right, there we go. Nearly Sa there. Sandra says, uh, have a lovely time. Uh, Thank you. We'll think of quilts to make and come over to take advantage of that 20% discount. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you read my mind, Sandra. So I'm just going to push out the corners, okay? So I want to get in where that zip is, get my finger in there. I've got my scissors in there as well, and just push out those corners. Okay. Uh, like that. There we go, and push this one out as well, get my, get everything kind of out and in. There we go, that's it, out like that. Okay, so I pulled it all through the gap, and then I'm pushing the line in back inside the main fabric. Okay, so you want to get your fingers all in there, get everything pushed out as best you can. All right, okay, like, oh, Nearly, that shoulder there. You could clip into the shoulders if you really wanted to, but actually it's not a particularly big curve, so it doesn't need it. It needs a really good press, okay? It's, but there's your bottom zip and it's all fully lined. The only, last little bit you've got to do, okay, is on this top curve here, you're gonna turn over and hem all the way, turn over a little tiny hem all the way round like this, okay? So I'm just finger pressing a hem in on the outside fabric, 
Okay, hopefully you can get Alex is getting this. So we're going to finger press a hem on the on the outside fabric. We're going to do exactly the same on the lining fabric. So finger press a hem over, which is a little bit you know fiddly, but you know just take your time, finger press it all over like that, and then you would line up those two hems. Al, could you just pass me that tin of um, clips, please? The white tin. That's it. Yeah, yeah. If you can just take the lid off for me, please. So you then turn, put those two. Oh, trying to get your fingers in there. <laughs> turn those two over like that and like that. Here we go. Got it. <laughs> Clip like this all the way around, matching up those hems. It is. It is quite fiddly this bit, but it's one of those things that if I wasn't like ah about the time, I could take a bit more time over. And you match them all up like that all the way round like that okay and then you could either i you can't obviously get that under your sewing machine so i would just hand stitch i would just slip stitch that whole thing closed so if i grab this one here okay you can see you've got i, I again I haven't slip stitched it yet but i've put the two hems together and i would just slip stitch it close okay you can now then once you've made it that big put a hang it and take this one out so you know when you get to the hotel or whatever so you could pack this away in your suitcase one of the hangers in through like that obviously this you wouldn't have the clips there because you'd have sewn it shut <laughs> like that okay like that you can then you've got your internal zip there and you turn your pocket there and you know you could even hang you know you could hang necklaces and stuff or whatever like you know or you know put your bracelets clip them round the bar of the hanger and then like that and hang it in your wardrobe in amongst all your clothes and all you're going to see is this but you could put a t-shirt or a blouse or something over it and you wouldn't see it at all and everything would all be hidden away okay that is fabric closet safes 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 oh it doesn't sound right does it yeah. safes <laughs> that's exactly what that is okay it's they're not they're not tricky to make they're really not and they're a good excuse to have a go at zips as well really good excuse to have a go at zips i will draw the template out and pop that onto the website for you okay that will be going that i'll put that on later on today for you um and i will see you any questions any questions or comments there at all anything we can see I don't think we can i will try and go on later i'll go on later and answer anything that you guys have been saying okay if there's any questions there because i don't know what's going on tech tech i'm not happy happy <laughs> it's been it's probably maybe it's just maybe it's bored of my voice now maybe it's bored of us talking it's like nah she's off again not working <laughs> um i will see you monday at one o'clock um and then i'm away for a week so you've got seth for the rest of the week um, she's got some lovely stuff really some really she's come up with some really nice little projects to do with you so um so yeah have a lovely lovely weekend don't forget daily deal this is going on the website this is already on the website this is going on this afternoon i've got two of the sirdar boxes you're probably better off ringing the shop because there's only two of them so if you want one give me a shout and those lovely new christmas things go on the website as well um I'm going off to have a cup of tea with my boy and finish some sewing and then I've got to go to the shop. Um, I'm going to fin have a quick cup of tea with my boy because I won't see him. He lives in London. I don't see him very often. Um, not my biggest boy. And uh, I will see you all on Monday. So sorry about the issues again, ladies and gents. And I'll see you Monday though. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye guys.